Hi guys, this is Android Pieball Common and here with the game Mobius Final Fantasy. I'm playing it on the Asus Zenfone 3 Deluxe. The game comes from Square Enix, obviously, and it's a very interesting RPG that has a pretty simplistic story of the type where am I, what am I doing here, and a character that's rather androgynous and searching for his future and identity. It's a rather misunderstood story, and here we are, we got a login bonus, and some rental card, daily missions, and that's the map we play on. So the game is divided into a lot of menus, we got the cards, social, shop, etc, and home. Home is the core, and usually the screen is split into two, you have the character semi-cutscene area, and the map with your missions, so uh, we go here. And uh, before you go into battle, uh, you can see your deck of cards, you can also pick a different job. You can see that you have a fire boss, so it's best to go there with uh, water or the opposite element. You can also rent a card from other players, would be nice if we could rent maybe um, ice card, since we're fighting against fire, and here we go. You can assign various classes of jobs to your character, and the battle has begun. Very nice looking graphics for mobile, the game is free in the Play Store, and the battle goes like this. You tap to attack, and you have here the number of tags you can pull. You will gather orbs, and those orbs allow you to trigger these special attacks, that of course will consume them. Once you progress, you can tap that area and create resistances for yourself, so you can withstand attacks better. So you can press here, and you can resist fire or earth or other elements. And here you have a meter that charges and you can do special attacks as you progress. Of course, the first, let's say, 10 or 12 battles are very easy, but even the first boss battle will be quite hard. You have a hit points meter here, as far as I heard you also have summons. And you get chests every once in a while. The cards are the core. This seems like a tough enemy, so let's apply some icing to him. A good old ice attack. He's weak to that. And when the enemy is weak, you can pull some pretty powerful attacks. Let's trigger a resistance. Okay, so he used the debuff. Now I'm resilient to fire. And I can also apply yet another ice attack and then a physical attack well not exactly physical because i'm a mage and i can use spells so the battle is pretty much done with one more left enemies come in waves this is a simpler foe and at the end you will get one card maybe some items and other goodies this is a tougher enemy aside from the hit points he also has sort of a shield a barrier to break and ice comes in handy in case you want to do some grinding or you're bored or not in the mood for playing, you can press the auto button and switch to defense mode or attack mode and have the battle fought for you. Excellent looking graphics. The battles are a bit on the long side, even for a JRPG. It's all tap, 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 use elements and use them wisely. Okay, so my mage is done and now he's getting his reward. I actually played this game a few months ago, 3 or 4 months ago, on the iPad and I had a lot of bugs there. The game kept crashing on me and aside from crashing, it did not want to connect to the servers. I just leveled up. These are my orbs. I also got a card. And let's see what else is happening here. So, cards. Let's see the decks. Of course, you can shift them around. This is one of the decks. This is another one for the Onion Knight which is sort of a paladin, he uses the sword, and we have uh, more uh, coming soon. This is the skill panel, which can be enhanced with a variety of orbs, so you can use them to enhance your skills, or unlock new skill panels, and with full edit you can move around your cards, you can focus on the fire cards, earth cards, ice cards, and so forth. Okay, now, uh, as far as I know, you can also do fusion of the cards. And you also have ability cards, which are highlighted here. And uh, the game is pretty complex, as you can well see. Of course, there is a store, everything is pricey here. And we also have job cards. This one is new, so we got the Onion Knight. We got the Apprentice Mage. And this guy, who is the Neophyte Ranger... 
which you can also use each with its special abilities social well you can see here my profile item list weekly rankings bonuses followers you can get followers by following them yourselves taking their cards into battle and that's that so i can follow this guy and this guy so we can make new friends in the game and you can also go to other universes on the same planet there are even some competitions going on and here you can get your gifts as you can see Square Enix is being very generous these days. Okie dokie, so now I'm going to switch to the other guy. Um, let's go to home. Press this one here. Select the onion guy. And I sure hope he has a deck ready. Hmm, let's make sure of that. Cards and uh, decks. That was a bit annoying, and this guy doesn't seem to have any cards, so uh, let's maybe set him up. Um, the idea is to have here a proper setup of cards so that it fits the enemies you're battling element-wise. Okay, so uh, weapon, blank blade, auto abilities and abilities. I'm going to use this one this one so so far so good we have fire we have ice this is the dust ripper and maybe take this one okay so so far so good go home and go to the unknown wastes and take this guy with us there's even a semi storyline here told through various cutscenes and flashbacks. It's rather nice and uh, offers a nice variation between battles, but not too complex. It's actually quite lame for Square Enix, but in the end, it has its own charm. As you can see, this guy is much more powerful than the other one, than the mage. He already has extra XP and a powerful sword to fight these ugly looking creepy critters. Okay, so tap, 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 and all tap, that's what the battle is all about, we set it to auto. Now the conclusions, as you can see I'm quite a big fan of Mobius Final Fantasy, it's not my first play, I've played it before on another platform, was impressed with it, but the bugs annoyed me, no bugs on Android luckily, and I'm going to give it a 9.2 out of 10 here at AndroidPipe.com, I recommend you try it, you can try it if you're a Final Fantasy fan, or if you're not a fan, it's an interesting title to play. This is it from us, has been played on the Asus Zenfone 3 Deluxe, Bye-bye.